Welcome back to WebCafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, I want to show you an AI automation that allows you to take a lot of text and then analyze it quickly with AI. All right, let's go ahead and begin. In order to do that, we're going to hit create here and do new zap. Essentially, the idea behind the zap is that you can take a lot of text, maybe from a legal contract, a resume, uh, some type of bulky PDF. You can paste it into a Google Doc and then we'll use GBT to automatically analyze it for different parameters that you're looking for specifically. I'm just going to rename this to text analyzer. All right, coming over here, we're just going to add the trigger of Google Docs and essentially the trigger in this use case, we're going to go ahead and say when a new document is created in a folder. So we have more specification here and we're going to hit continue here. We're going to go ahead and choose our courses account. As always, these apps built in these tutorials will be found in the description below. And then we're going to go ahead and find the folder that I put in. I put it into the YouTube zaps. And then just for your reference, I'm gonna jump over real quick. And as you see here, this is going to be the example uh, piece of text that I'm going to be analyzing. I just grabbed a random resume online and I pasted it in here. Go ahead and use the this zap in whatever context that you plan on using it for. Maybe you, you have like a 10 page legal contract that you want to paste in here and then have the automation occur. But from here, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. We're going to test that trigger. All right, let's go ahead and confirm that it found the correct one. So in order to do so, let's type in the file name, which would be resume template. All right, perfect. It has found the correct one. From here, we're going to go ahead and do a couple things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a chat GPT block. And we're going to do the event of conversation. From here, we're going to go ahead and you have like multiple options here for smaller files. I'd suggest you to do the execution of what your intention is right off the bat. But if you don't have smaller files here, go ahead and start with a GBT 3.5 block in order to format the text better. So we're going to go ahead and say based on this and then give context of whatever you're trying to summarize here. So in this context, we're summarizing a resume based on this resume. Do semicolon parentheses and then we're going to do the file raw plain text here and then we're going to do parentheses again we're going to say uh please generate a summarization of the six main points and then we're going to go ahead use 3.5 as this is more grunt work we're going to use a memory key of res out and then we're going to continue here and we're going to test this action Okay, so based off this lengthy resume, it was able to print out the six main points. Basically, the context of why I made this block was more of, think of it as like insurance. So if you guys down there essentially put in a lengthy legal contract or a piece of text file that's very large, you're going to want to set up a block like this that essentially summarizes the data to the main point. So maybe my intention here was wrong. Maybe what I'm really looking for here is not necessarily the six main points. Maybe I'm looking for please generate a summarization of work experience, specifically what's occurred within 2020 and onward. So maybe I want to get very specific on this type of summarization if we're dealing with that lengthy of a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and retest this again to show y'all. And then once we get that output, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to the next stage of this as if I didn't need to summarize the doc like this and I had, you know, not too much data to mess around with. All right, so as you see below me, we are getting access to specifically what I asked for when it came to work experience past 2020. So it says since 2020, Jason Miller has worked at Amazon Warehouse Associated in Miami Gardens when he, while performed all warehouse labor duties such as parking, picking, counting, and so on. All right, so I went ahead and renamed that block to compressor. The purpose of this block, as I said before, is really to you know make your data smaller. If you're familiar with Zapier and AI, you may get that really pesky error. It's just 504 error. That typically means and is correlated with too much data being inputted into the conversation. Therefore, it times out. So use this as a trick for any other context that you're dealing with that kind of error. Sometimes you just got to mitigate and minimize the amount of data that's going into the initial input. But we're going to proceed now as if we didn't have to memorize and minimize the data. So I'm going to ignore this insurance block here. I'm going to create another chat GBT block. And I'm going to go ahead and say conversation. So assuming that we don't have too much data when we're dealing with our initial input here, we can just do the same thing and give context and say based on this resume, semicolon parentheses, 
document file plain text here. We can do shift enter enter. I went ahead and generated some main points that maybe a job recruiter would look for. I'm going to say generate what's applicable here. I'm going to do semicolon. And then essentially I generated four things. So we got relevant skills, job specific skills, and competencies, work experience, education, accomplishments. And then let's just say the role is um, marketing manager. Once you have provided the previous summary, give me a score of zero to 100. 100 being very qualified of the candidate. So as you see here, this can get pretty complex, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I really just want to show you how to parse data and have data or basically have the ability for AI to analyze your data automatically. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and make sure we up our model to GPT-4 as we're going to deal with a lot more comprehension in this context and everything else can maintain the same. If you want to maintain fixed structure on the output, I'm going to go ahead and just say out uh, four from here. I'm going to just continue and then test that action. Okay. So as we see, we got our output here, um, relevant skills, experience and picking, packing, counting and record keeping work experience. And as we keep going down here, we get to our final score here of 40 out of hundred. Although Jason Miller has demonstrated strong skills in organization, time management and warehouse operation. He lacks direct experience for marketing management. As a result, the candidate receives a score of 40 out of hundred indicating he may not be the most suitable choice for marketing manager role. As you see here, this can come into context with a lot of other things when it comes to analyzing text in different realms and different areas of business. But in this specific context, I and mean, this could be a very useful tool to maybe uh, pre-text or check out resumes before they you know, really take into consideration or go to a first form interview. Now, if you feel like you've learned something at this point, make sure to like the video. It helps us here at Web Cafe AI and it's completely free. But one other thing I want to show y'all is this insurance block and how it connects to this specific block, which would be more of the output. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to output. In this context, essentially, let's say you input the original data into your output block here, and then you're getting that 504 error. Well, what you can do now is we can use the compressor and we can go ahead and grab the assistant response message. And now that we have the compressed version of that data, we could probably come to the same consensus consensus post generation. Okay. So I know I said that was the last thing on this specific tutorial, but actually I do want to show you one last thing just in case you want to make, you know, the final little bow to this whole flow. For example, let's say you, you've made a new document, you put in a resume in this context, you can always send it as an email like this, making a Gmail block You can send an email and then obviously just choose your account. So for us would be courses, hit uh, continue here. And then all you need to do is send the email or put in the fixed variable address. So whatever address you want to send the email to in the to section. And then you would just provide a subject line like uh, resume uh, overview. And then in the body, we would just put in the output that we just created there. And from there, you just hit continue, publish, and you'd be good to go. So that does it for this tutorial. As always, you can find the zap down in below. If you're interested in learning more about how ChatGPT and Zapier can be leveraged, make sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video as it goes over a ton of AI automation as that is the main focus of this channel. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.